Ah! <gasps> what the fuck is that? Like a literal robot, a robot tank just, just invaded us. How does that even work? Welcome back, everybody, to the Spatials Galactology episode number three. We have some building happening over here. At the end of last episode, we were actually raided by a, a band of pirate scum uh, by the name, or at least by the race of Kerkurbians or whatever. First, mind you, one of them showed up earlier and he attacked me and we killed him. And then his little posse showed up afterwards. But we got rid of him. As you can see, there's a bunch of gore and blood left all over the place over here. But we have gotten the bodies rid of. We put them in a the recycler and I guess we've made meat out of the bodies too. So. We're gonna definitely eat these um, pirates after we're done clearing off the area here. But that got me thinking to the fact of the idea that not only do we need a laboratory, which we're building over here, um, since we are getting raided now, people need a place to actually be able to heal their HP, right? So over here we have a medical facility being built, and I think this actually works out really good. This looks medical facility written all over it, right? I think I did a pretty good job with that one. I even forgot what I named, what um, what floor that is actually. What is that one? It's not sterile chamber because I'm using sterile chamber for the laboratory. So I forgot what I used for that one. I think it was... Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. But whatever I used, it looks good. That's all that really matters. Alrighty. So with that done, let's see what's happening over here, huh? Food? We have a lot of food stocked up here and we're still moving stuff into our storage facility. I, I really want to know like when you guys like overburden. Like, um, There's got to be a way, right? You can't tell me this like, one box is going to be like unlimited -y. Unlimitedly storing items for us, right? I mean, there's gotta be a limit. I just don't see it. I don't know, I guess I just don't worry about it, huh? <laughs> I guess. Hey, look, these guys are back. Yeah, they were doing some cargo unloading, I guess. Yeah, get to work. Get to work. Um, speaking of which, I, I would love to hire a few extra people. You guys can sleep, right? Like, these doors aren't being a hindrance to you. Oh, shit. They're locked? No, 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 now it's locked. Now it's unlocked. Okay, cool. Needs more access. What do you mean, it's more access? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean, it's more access? My people can't sleep and shower, right? I haven't been paying attention if they've been doing that or not. Aesthetics seem relatively low, but that's because of all the blood. Once you guys get to cleaning, you'll be fine. No, they're fine, right? Their they're sleep meter is high, so they're obviously going to the rooms and sleeping. I just haven't seen it myself, but they're, they're going to sleep and showering. Otherwise, they probably have low hygiene and sleep. No, they're, they're, they're cool. They're fine. I mean, you guys clean up the mess and you, the aesthetics will go back up. Simple as that. What are you doing? Snack of titanium. Store. I guess they're just slowly storing, huh? I guess so. Alrighty. Anyway, with that done, let's see. This is going to be research. And over here, let's set up some beds. Because we need to get you guys healed up as well. Health. And we have... Hospital beds and med dispenser. Now, for the med dispenser, we do need drugs and medical supplies, which we don't have just yet. I think we have to research those first. So let's go to hospital bed here. And we'll set this up like a lined up area like so. So we'll do like bam. Next to each other, honestly. Like, if you get hurt, I want you to be able to talk to your bro about it. You know, just lay next to each other. It's like, yeah, man, I was out there raiding and stuff. And like, you're doing my exploration and we got attacked by a band of misfits. And, you know, you could just like chit chat with each other next to the bed. You're healing up there. I think that works out pretty fine. Okay, so that's cool. Um, research. Let's come over here and we need to build some more objects. We need to go into facilities. We have a research table right here. And the moment you walk into the research facility, I want, it, I want you to see people working. So, bam. And fucking bam. And bam. And bam. I just want you guys to see people working the moment you walk in here. Like, really serious, heavy-duty research is happening over here. Alrighty, so, you guys need to get to get on with the cleaning here too, though, because I'm not really liking all the blood. Not a big fan of the blood. Alright, so with this done, I think this gives us a while here for a bit to look at something else, so... Uh, heal 10 patients now available. Oh, that's because we built our first hospital bed, which is cool. Uh, let me go over to Staff. Recruit. Oh ho ho! Uh, work in progress. The screen will feature info and tools for managing officers not directly related to on-map stations. Okay, cool. So I, I just get to pick anybody I want? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, cool. Alrighty. Yeah, I don't got anything. I remember back in the day, like in the vanilla version, like you had to set up like... 
I guess he's still gonna probably have to do that, but since we're doing an early access version of this Spatials Galactology, I guess it still has to be implemented, but essentially how it used to work before, you needed to set up like a democracy somewhere, and then you would be able to hire people from there, you would set up your own Spatials as um, diplomats for other countries, or not countries, but other planets, but I guess that's what, that'll come as we progress with the um, early access period here. But for now, you know, this makes it a lot easier for me, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> you think I'm complaining? Absolutely not. Um, alright, cool. So, with that done... I know, I know, I will set up specialization soon, but I will do it off-camera. This might be the last episode I'm recording here today, which is the first three episodes, so... I'll look at the specialization off-camera, and I'll come back next episode, and, um, we will have everything kind of set up there properly. But for now, I don't want to spend my time the entire video being like, oh... Who should do this? Who should do that? So, that's cool. Alright, here we go. Research. By the way, I don't have to do anything special with these beds, right? No, no. They're just set up, ready to go? Good. Here we go. Um, so, for the research tables, I think you don't have to do anything over here. All you have to do is just open up research or give them a, a thing to research. So, let's go over to research. And what do we want to start off with here? Don't tell me what to do, game. Get out of here. Um, this will be for a commercial. We do want to make some money, don't we? I would imagine so. Decorations. However, we need to be able to start refining some of the stuff that we have. Like, I know we have, like, oils, we have microbiota, but we got to be able to turn that into something we could then sell, like fuel cells, for instance. So, what would that be? Like, commercial? I think I saw that's recreational. Other? No, that's more for decorations alone. Commercial. Well, that would make sense. Commercial here. But that's only the... Uh, that's only to, like, actually add more shelves, right? Uh, I'm, I'm talking, like, processing this stuff into something that I want or need. Facilities. Robot charger, robot factory, defensive turret. That could be useful for our raids. Food and drink. Uh, I think we're okay with the food that we have. I mean, we have gardening over here as well. We have health. Hygiene. Hmm... What is this? Production. Okay, here we make make fiction program? Make star map? <laughs> make cut gems? Make tonic X? I think we could sell tonic X. Why not? Advanced soap for our showers. Yeah, you know what? Go over to that one. Production sounds relatively fine to me. Security. Yeah, we'll do production first. Start research. Okay, and to my knowledge. Remember to build research desks? I've done that. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, to my knowledge, the way this works out is because we have four um, little stations for researching. All four, uh, and we could have like literally up to four people researching the same thing, which will indeed speed up how fast you actually finish up a research. So, because we have like, you know, four of them here, I'm going to say that'll probably start going up a lot faster than normal. Yeah, there we have like four people right here. Excellent. I really need the gore to be cleaned up though. I guess they're still moving stuff to storage. Man, you guys have been moving shit forever. I really wish I could tell, like, how much is in there, though. <laughs> I really don't know. Alrighty, well. It'll get moved at some point. Although, maybe what I should just do is... Hold up, you know what? You know what? I said I would do this off-camera, but let me just do it now. Um, what would that be? Would that be... Cleaning or restocking, maybe? Repairing? It's It can be... Restocking. So, you know what, Gwenny? Just do restocking. Would that be you moving stuff into the storage alone? Gwen, let's keep an eye on Gwenny. I'm gonna have her just do restock, and we'll see that means moving all the stuff to storage alone. It can be bartender, building, chemistry, cleaning, cooking. Alright, cool. And then let's have Andre Haw just do cleaning. Just for now. I want to see how this works out for us, so... Andre Haw. Let's look for Andre Haw. Andre? That could be Andre. No, that's, that's Adele Mocroft. That's Andre, huh? Andre, I need you to stop doing research, though. You're not even assigned to it. Add a disease? No, I don't want to add a disease to you. It's terrible. I mean, I'll add a disease if you don't stop researching. How about that? <laughs> yeah, I guess because she started, she can't stop it unless I... Can I manually control you to go away? Go somewhere else. Oh, here we go. Oh, you can do it. Walk away. <laughs> Just walk away. There you go. Go clean. Yeah, there she is. She's cleaning now. And wh what was the other one called? The other one was Gwenny. Where's Gwenny at? Gwenny! That's not Gwenny. Gwenny is, I think that should be Gwenny here. 
I mean, I'd be able to tell if I could just actually, like, click her and not the titanium stack instead. Andre Hall is cleaning. Good. Gwenny, there she is. She's restocking. Okay. So she is possibly... Let's see. Let's see. Grab something. I just want to see you grab something. Oh, she'll restock food as well, though. So there is that. So she's grabbing food, moving it over to the canteen, which we do know about this. But I, what about the stuff that we're bringing in? All right, she's working. Aesthetic's really low because of the blood, man. We got to get that shit out of the way. And she's going back. Gwenny, don't break my balls here, Gwenny. Ah, maybe it's not what I think it is. Maybe it's not restocking after all. I don't know. Um, how's the research coming along, though? I guess we'll keep an eye on it. 19 of 50. Ugh, takes a while. Takes quite a while indeed. Alrighty. So, maybe recruit? There we go. Yeah. How are you guys? Five new recruits? Yeah, I got a reward for that. Thank you. Very much. Let's come over here, go to station, and go to a job matrix again. So we have new individuals. Just give them... Give that dude everything. Um, so Andre Hall is cleaning. Let me just do Gwenny's dad. Let me give you an extra cleaner. And restocker. So we'll do that. The last four individuals, two cleaning and then two restocking only. And we'll see if that actually, you know... Oh, the, the blood's going away. Good. That's what I wanted to see. Alright. Looking a lot better now. Cool. So that's done with here. Um, food we're completely stocked up on. Oh, there's a lot more blood over here, though. Oh. You've been killing people like crazy. Like crazy. Well. Researching. Laboratory. We have a lot more people now, so we obviously also do need more rooms. <laughs> That's the other problem here. Ugh. Oh. Should have thought about that one here first, huh? Okay, you know what? Okay, you know what? Let's, let's be reasonable here, okay? Let's start sharing a couple of rooms here. The base is going a lot faster than I thought it would be. So we have, like, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. With Andre Hall. 10, 11, 12. 12 people. How many rooms? Six. You know what that means? We're sharing, okay? You guys are now going into the entire roommate system. Let's go to build objects and let's go to resting. Give me a bed. There you go. You guys are roommates now, okay? You have opposites ends of the room, too. So you have a little bit of a, I don't know, personal thing to yourself here. There you go. I guess you guys can't, you know, mess around under the covers anymore. I guess you can mess around with each other's covers. Don't there, there is that. But before I gave them, like, their individual rooms so they could kind of, you know, handle business when nobody's looking. But now because they have roommates, somebody's going to be looking at the entire time, but eh. You know, you got to make um, sacrifices here on occasion. So now we have 12 beds for 12 people. Sounds like a sitcom. <laughs> 12 beds for 12 people coming to Fox. Fall 2017. Alrighty. Hey, big-eyed individual. <laughs> what are you doing? Catherine, oh, you were cleaning. You were cleaning around Anis. Apparently Anis is a really filthy researcher. Aesthetics are going up, though, because we got rid of most of the blood. Although there's some more over here. Bet's build. Yeah, they can walk into the rooms easily. My fear in the, uh, like, a while, like an episode or two back, was thinking, like, they couldn't get into the rooms because they were locked, but... No, they're unlocked. They're all fine. And that should be the last bit of cleaning over here for this blood. I almost feel like we should probably just add more storage areas over here, right? Build objects. Let's go into facilities. Um, let's do storage area. Like so. And can block that entrance. And we'll do like another one. Like this, I guess, for now. Sure. Maybe that'll encourage them to move stuff a bit faster. So the rooms should be set up after the last bit of building is done. This research, is this done already? Because you guys have been researching forever. 38 of 50. Not quite. Not quite. Now what's going on in the galaxy? You guys are still moving, right? Yep. Well then. Inties. Arid planet. Well, we already have an arid planet. Now, the only problem with this one is there there is apparently no... We don't know what's in here because it's not a allied colony in a sense. We have not been to Sidberry just yet either. We have a lot more people, so how about we go and make a fleet if we can? 
Uh, we'll be able to, you guys will be able to make your, at least whenever they added, you'll be able to make your own, you know, ships. But at the moment, since I'm playing, like, with a press build, I, they gave me this option here. And I don't think they've actually added the way to make ships just yet. Maybe by the time it releases, they'll to the public it will. Um, so I'm gonna use the curved <laughs> grandmother. That's a good one. The curved grandmother. Uh, let me give you some people here to assign. Let's go with Roy Eckert. Eckert. And Otto Hilliard. Why not? Let's go back to Galaxy. And what I want to do is let's actually go over to Sidberry and find out what's happening over here. This will be a Gaia planet. We already have a we have a Terra planet, we have an Arid planet, and now we'll do the Gaia planet. So, Curved Grandmother, let's have you... Well, actually, we have to visit it first, don't we? So we have to do a straight-up visit. Let's get you over here. There you are. Let's um, explore. Let's come over here on ground floor and find out what's happening. The goal, land three times on a planet, has been completed. Excellent. Claim that reward. Alright. So, what do we... Oh my god, what are you guys supposed to be? Neutrals. Okay, you're not aggressive at least, which is fine. Let's look around. What do we have here? This is going to be more fruits. I think we're doing okay with the food back home. A lot more fruit as well. A lot more fruit. I'm seeing a lot of fruit here. And water. Okay, and bugs. Seeds and more meat. Okay, so this would be definitely a plan to come and actually just get some more food if we wanted to. And fibers, which are always kind of useful, I want to say. What are you critters supposed to be? As long as you're neutral, that's okay. You get to continue existing in my visitation planets here. Let's go ahead and do build object. We will do bio extractor for some of these fibers, which we'll use at some point. I'm not sure when, but we'll start using them. And grab some more meat. I think water and food were doing good back home. I guess we'll grab a few of these bugs if we can. Let's try to grab the bugs and some water. Oh, wait, water won't work because that has to be fluids, right? Eh, whatever. Bugs it is. So you guys build those, and then after you guys build those, you, you come back home. Alrighty. And we're apparently just still storing stuff over here, which is great. It does seem like we're storing maybe a bit faster, too. Yeah, I'm seeing make, like maybe less junk over here, kind of, maybe? Technically speaking, I could just kind of um delay the cargo unloading for a while. But I mean, if there's no limitation to my storage, why even do that? Just let them keep bringing them over and over. Alright. Let me go over to... There's gotta be like a production table, right? Something like clearly obvious that I'm missing because I'm a big dum-dum. Oh, come on. We're six away from fin finishing this research, guys. Come on. Wrap it up over here. Build floor. No, we're looking for build objects. So, production. Chemical Workshop, if I'm right, here is where we start actually building some of the stuff based on our items, too. So, with Chemical Workshop, I do believe that's how you make soap, which is needed for the showering, obviously. You can't just shower with only water, man. You gotta throw some soap on that, too. So, because this is our research area, let's just make this an area to us to actually, you know, do chemical stuff as well. Maybe even a metal press or two. So, let's break it apart like, bam, bam. And bam, and then we will do metal. Let's do medical workshop, actually. What's the... Is that it? Medical workshop? And then we'll do metal press. Like... Up, uh oh uh-oh. I'm seeing an error, I'm seeing a problem, erase this object. And that one. Build object, metal press. There we go. So, we'll do, like... Bam, bam, bam. I think we'll probably be using the metal press more as well, so that's perfectly okay. And then we could do set up another hallway through here if we want to exit out. Because this will be kind of sealed off, obviously. That works out just well for me. Cool. Alright, let's go to time 5 speed. My people over here building. Research, come on. Oh, I think we finished it finally. Yep, we finished up one research. Took a while, but we got it. Alright, so that's going to unlock... 150, great. That's going to unlock for us what? Let me go over here. Research. That was over here. Production. So now we can make Tonic X, we can make Orion Soda, Advanced Soap, Antimatter Cleaner, and we could also have the, the Cheetomatic. <laughs> What's a Cheetomatic? Yo, I'm curious about this now. Cheetomatic, what do you do? Dev, placeholder factory for every item not yet assigned in any research group tier. Oh, okay, so I could do this right now if I wanted to and be a cheating scumbag? Well, I won't do that. 
I won't do that, but I, I guess the idea is there if I wanted to. Okay, cool. So, metal press is up and running. <gasps> ah! <gasps> what the fuck is that? Like a literal robot, a robot tank just, just invaded us. How does that even work? We brought it down. Recycle that guy for parts and pieces. Bring him over there to the recycler. We just moved him aside. <laughs> Can you re Hey, um, firefighters, please. There you go. No, no, don't burn yourself. Firefighters, please. We're, we're losing items here. You know what? Everybody's a firefighter. Don't tell me you can't fucking fight that fire. God damn it. All right, fine, fine. You know what? Um, Matt, Vike, and Adele McCroft just turn into, like, designated firefighters for a second here. Apparently, everybody's scared of the fire now. Come on. Fight the fire. Just one left. Just one left. Build a basic workshop. That's cool. I'm glad that's done. But, um, the fire. Guys, please. It's probably burning through my shit right now. <laughs> there you go. You got it. Good on you. All right, you guys. We're going to wrap it up here for this episode. Uh, this will be the last episode I'm recording today. Meaning, as I mentioned, um, the, the first episode... I will be checking out your interest for the series going forward. Again, if you're enjoying it, do let me know in the comments and by leaving a like. And if we come back for another set of episodes, I'm going to go ahead and start assigning individual tasks for people. So we have like more of a setup where we have people working on only chemistry, people only working on cleaning, restocking, you know, the whole nine yards over here. And we have a goal that I should probably claim for now. Excellent. And we also have to start opening up tourism and probably now that we have this over here, we can start actually producing items to start selling and bringing the tourists. Fine and dandy. I will catch you guys next time.